What's up everybody, it's Jordan with Sonduck Film, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick tutorial on how to use the different parts of our Motion Graphics Professionals pack. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is actually make sure that the Atomex extension is pulled up so that we can use it. So go to Window, Extensions, Atomex, and check the box, and then the Atom extension will be pulled up and we'll be able to see all of the titles and graphics. The first thing that we're going to be looking at in the pack is going to be the titles, but before we do that, let's create a new composition. I'm just going to be naming mine Example. Hit OK. And then once we have our new composition, head over to the Atomex extension, click Titles, and then it should pull up all these different titles on the side. Scroll down, look at all the different titles, find one you like, and once you do, go over it and then hit Apply. After a few seconds, the title should pop up onto your timeline and then we can start making some changes. So go down to the title itself, give it a double click, and it'll pull up the different things we can edit. So you'll see Controller Main, Text 1, Text 2. If we want to change what the text actually says, we can highlight it and then just give it a double click, and then it'll change to the text tool and we can type whatever we want. Same with the second title, text to, double click, and you can change what it says. And then up here we have something called controller main, and basically what this is, is it's a layer that has a bunch of different expression controls in it that can change what the text looks like. So up here we have text color one, text color two, text color three. If you don't see the effect control panel, just simply go to window and scroll down to effect controls and check that box and you'll see it. So you'll see here text color one, if we click this box here, it'll pull up a color wheel and we can change the color of text one. We can make it blue, red, anything we want. I'm just gonna keep it white because it looks better. And then see down here, we have text color two, text color three. If you look, this title is actually a gradient and then these two colors change the gradient. So if you go down to black, you can see the gradient changing. Same with the blue, it'll change the gradient. After you've done that, the last thing you can do is you can actually move the title around a bit. Let's say if you want it to be more of a lower third, you can click and drag, move it down to the bottom left, top left, wherever you want it. I'm just going to leave it in the center. You can also move this secondary title and maybe offset it a bit to make it look more to your liking. I'll just do that because it looks kind of cool. Then after you've done all of that, you can back out to the title as a whole. And if you want to change the scale, you can just press S on the composition and you'll be able to change the scale of everything. And then once you have the title how you like it, just press play and see how it looks. Okay, so next up we're going to look at the transitions. As you can see down here on my timeline, I have two video clips. And if we scroll through them, you'll see when it goes from one clip to the next, it just has this hard cut. And with the transitions, we can make this look a lot nicer. So let's go up to the Atomex extension. We'll click on transitions and it'll pull all the transitions up on the right. We'll find one we like and then hit apply. After a few seconds, the transition should pop up onto your timeline, and the next thing we need to do is actually line it up so that it works with our two clips. So let's scroll in a bit by holding down Alt, and then scrolling with our scroll wheel. Then we're going to track to where the transition covers up the entire screen, that way we can cover up this hard cut here. Once we found that point, the entire screen's covered. I'm just going to pull the beginning up to that point, that way I know where it's at. I'm going to move over to our two clips, and bring that exact point over the transition. And then when I pull this back, you can just press play and see the seamless transition. One thing to note is before you export, you want to make sure that you have continuously rasterize enabled. So if we go over here to our transition, you'll see this little checkbox here, and this is for continuously rasterize, and we're going to want to check that. And basically what that does is it'll keep the transition from looking blurry in simple terms. If you don't see the continuously rasterize checkbox right here, go down to the very bottom right here and you'll see toggle switches and modes. Right now it's on switches, and if you click that, it'll be on modes. Sometimes you'll be over here on modes, click this button, and it'll take you back to switches. And then just check continuously rasterize. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to use the effects. So let's go up to the Atom X panel. We're gonna click on effects. I'm gonna to go to light overlays, and we'll put a lens flare in. So find one you like, and then hit apply. After a few seconds, the effect will pop up onto your timeline, but as you can see, all we see right now is just the effect. We can't see our original clip. So what we're going to want to do is blend these two layers. So if we go down to our layers, you'll see right here, mode, we have normal and normal. And again, if you don't see the mode, make sure you click toggle switches and modes so that it'll show up. So we're going to click on normal under mode. And first we're going to do add. And as you can see, it blends these two layers together and you can see the lens flare over the clip. There are also different modes other than add. You can do something like screen, pin light, hard light, basically just pick whichever mode looks the best for you. Let's try one more effect. Let's go up here to glitch, find one that you like. I'm going to take this one and then hit apply. And again, you'll see the effect covers up our original footage. So you're just going to go over to mode, change it from normal to add, and then it overlays. Then just hit play and you'll see this nice glitch effect over our footage. 
Lastly, I want to show you how to use our promos. So if you go to the AdamX extension and you click on promos, you'll see a bunch of different options here. I'm going to choose corporate and I'm going to pick one of these and I'm just going to hit apply. Once it's loaded, this part's pretty important. We're actually going to want to take our footage and we're going to want to move it inside of the promos composition. So I'm going to click my footage and I'm going to do control or command X to cut it. I'm going to double click on our composition to get inside of it. And then I'm going to do control or command V to paste our footage. And then what you're going to want to do is make sure that the footage is all the way at the bottom, the bottom layer. That way everything above it can be applied to it. And then as you'll see, the promo gets applied to it, and then when you hit play, all the effects are applied. And like before with the titles, we can go down to this text and change what it says by double clicking. Same with the second text, you can double click to change what it says. We can also go up to the controller and we can change different things like the color correction, the vignette. There's a second controller, which has all of the colors, offset, size offset. Then once you're done customizing, just hit play and you're done. Hopefully that's enough to get you going with the Motion Graphics Professionals Pack. Thank you very much for purchasing it. Good luck with your future creations and have a great day.